Well, hello friends, once again, I decided to film this while I was at the Great Passion Play in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and this one is entitled Stepping in the Light. So, I don't know about you, but have you ever read in Galatians uh, 5 where it says, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh or the old nature. Well, you know what? We want to do that. We want to walk or step in the light. And in this painting, if you look on the light sides of the rocks, uh, you will see things like love, joy, peace, patience, truth, kindness, gentleness, goodness, self-control. And those represent the fruit of the Spirit that is spoken of in, mostly in Galatians 5. But also, if you look on the dark sides of the rocks, you're going to see things like doubt, lie, fear, death, sin. And you know what, hate, you know what? We want to walk, just like Paul said, the things I want to do, I don't do. And the things I don't want to do, what does he say? That's what I do. So here's the question that we would have. Is there any hope? And can I have a life that is lived stepping in the light? And the only way that we can do that, we will tell, just like this young man here who is asking, how can I do that? We are gonna say, you must follow the path all the way to the cross. And you'll see the two crosses, one on each side and the face of Christ. And it is only through Christ that we can live in this way. In fact, when you think of the fruit of the Spirit, do you know that that is His fruit, not ours? We don't muster this up. We ask Him to fill us with His Spirit and it'll be made known. Okay, so I like to illustrate this like the dash light on our car. So when things are going good, and if we were gonna apply this, when we're walking in the spirit, we got love, joy, peace. The dash lights are all just brightly beaming and it is, it's all as well. But do you know what happens when a little hate comes in? It's like a red light comes on our dash and it starts flashing. And then there comes fear over here and doubt, lies and doubts. We, we have to know what to do and how to gain victory over this it's the same way we go back to the cross and we say jesus i need you i need you to come in and cleanse me and fill me and make my life what you want it to be and when we do it is that's when we will soar like an eagle. It's just incredible. Now the verse, the memory verse is actually, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. That is John, 1 John 1, 7. So um, here's the deal. Not only are we getting the, the victory in our own life, but it also says this is gonna give us a right relationship with one another. I don't know about you, but stepping in the light sounds like a win-win for all of us. Trying to walk in the steps of the Savior, trying to follow our Savior and King, shaping our lives by His blessed example, how happy the songs that we bring How beautiful to walk in the steps of the Savior Stepping in the light, stepping in the light 